चलिए नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डील विथ यू कैन से द सेम कैटेगरी ऑफ फोर्स विथ रिगार्ड टू विच समर्ट वी डिस्कस ऑलरेडी and the force is called as coriolis force so our notion is that when we are going from equator towards pole the radius of our decreases when the radius of our decreases all the regions which are over equator they are moving or uh, propagating at a higher rate towards east in comparison to those regions which are over poles why because equator is located away from the axis of rotation i mean when you are over equator you are standing at the edge of the round table when you are once you are ever over, over poles of course you are standing over the you can say center of the round table now listen what our concept is all about focus see now try to understand the concept here i am taking the reference of some areas like uh, as we know very well that uh, this is equator and over the surface of equator within troposphere we are finding a low pressure condition called as equatorial low pressure belt then we have of course a subtropical high pressure belt the subpolar low pressure belt and finally the polar high pressure belt now be very sure the earth is rotating from west to east be very sure agree so every pressure belt is going to rotate with earth of course from west to east but the rate of rotation i mean the linear velocity of equatorial low pressure belt to move towards east would be much more to the linear velocity of subtropical high pressure belt to move towards east similarly the linear velocity to move towards east of subtropical high pressure belt would be more to the linear velocity of subpolar low pressure belt to move towards east similarly the linear velocity of subpolar low pressure belt would be more as compared to the linear velocity of polar high pressure belt to move towards where east i mean all the pressure belts with earth are rotating towards east why they are able to rotate towards east because of the gravitational attraction of earth since earth able to rotate in anti clockwise manner every area of earth from equator towards pole it able to rotate towards east but they are moving or rotating at different rate to just to make you understand i am taking a very simple example keval aapko samjhane ke liye theek hai maan lo over equator we are finding a low pressure area called as equatorial low pressure belt an equatorial low pressure belt is rotating towards east a simple example hai at the rate of 10 km per hour theek hai but when i compare equatorial low pressure belt with subtropical high pressure belt theek hai then it able to rotate towards east but at less rate i mean less velocity linear velocity at 8 km per hour Similarly, when I take the regard of, of course, what subpolar low pressure belt, just to make you understand, to समझ ना, it is rotating towards east, मान लो, at six kilometer per hour, and the polar high pressure belt, which is over poles, I mean near to axis of rotation, is rotating. Take an example at the rate of four kilometer per hour. The reason is the radius of earth is decreasing from equator towards pole. I mean, when we are going from equator towards pole, let me tell you one more time, we are going from the edge of the round table to the center of the round table, and now the earth is rotating towards we are from west to east i hope you got my point but different climatic zones are rotating at different rate different high low pressure conditions are rotating at different rate now see now we know very well that winds always flow from the high pressure area to the low pressure area to wind ko kaisa chalna chahiye tha the wind has to flow from subtropical high pressure belt in both the hemisphere towards equatorial low pressure belt similarly the wind has to flow from subtropical high pressure belt towards subpolar low pressure belt in both the hemisphere from high to low pressure here also the wind has to flow from polar high pressure belt towards subpolar low pressure belt in both the hemisphere but the zone from where the wind is originating let's focus on two pressure belt one is subtropical high pressure belt other one equator in northern hemisphere so winds the zone from where is wind is originating high pressure belt of subtropical area that pressure belt is rotating at a less rate towards where east and that's why the wind that originate focus from subtropical high pressure belt and approach towards equatorial low pressure belt would lag behind would lag behind ye wind peeche reh jayegi why because equatorial low pressure belt has moved forward so it appears that the winds have lag behind now when i'm using the term lag behind it means towards west and when i'm using the term move forward it means towards east why because earth is rotating from west to east agree ye wohi baat ho gayi ki two persons are running parallel to each other one is running towards east presume 
at the rate of 10, other one is running at the spe speed of 8 km per hour. But the person who is running at the speed of 8 km per hour is having a ball. And now the person has to throw the ball in a straight line. Then the ball would always be fall behind to the person who is running at the speed of 10 km per hour. To the speed of 10 km per hour. Agree? So if you see, now the winds shall lag behind, lag behind towards west. Similarly, the winds which are flowing from subtropical high pressure belt towards low pressure, equatorial low pressure, the winds have to flow in a straight line. But the zone from where the wind is originating, subtropical high pressure belt, it is moving at lesser rate in comparison to equatorial low pressure belt. And then also, the wind shall lag behind. Lag behind means lag behind towards west. Wind shall lag behind. So in this way, the winds are lagging behind towards west. The winds which are flowing from subtropical high pressure belt towards equator in both the hemisphere. One more thing. Now, when I compare the winds which are flowing from subtropical high pressure belt towards subpolar low pressure belt, if you see, the winds are, have to flow in a straight line from subtropical high towards subpolar low in both the hemisphere. The winds have to flow in a straight line. But the zone from where the wind is originating, subtropical high pressure belt, at 30 degree north and approaching towards 60 degree north. Agree? The zone from where the wind is originating, that zone, subtropical high pressure belt, is moving at a higher rate towards east in comparison to subpolar low pressure belt. And that's why the wind shall move forward. When I'm using the term move forward, move forward means move forward towards where? East. Here also in southern hemisphere, winds have to flow in a straight line. But then the zone from where the wind is originating okay, uh, is moving at a higher rate and then the wind shall move forward, move forward towards east. And once it moves forward, it appears the winds get deflected. We have to take the reference of two regions over the surface of earth. I mean relative motion between two regions. And these two regions are moving at a different rate towards east. अगर अर्थ रेक्टेंगुलर होता या होती जो भी है फेमिनिस्ट भी हो सकती है अर्थ ठीक है बी वेरी श्योर देन इट कुड बी द पॉसिबिलिटी दैट द मूवमेंट ऑफ द विंड वुड नॉट बी इन सच अ मैनर आई मीन देर वुड बी नो सच टाइप ऑफ डेविएशन बट दिस इज नॉट द केस अर्थ इज ए जियोइड शेप सेलेस्टियल बॉडी हुज रेडियस इज गोइंग टू डिक्रीज फ्रॉम इक्विटर टूवर्ड्स पोल अच्छा वन मोर टाइम ओवर पोल्स वी आर फाइंडिंग हाई प्रेशर कंडीशन ओवर सपोलर एरिया लो प्रेशर कंडीशन we know very well so winds have to flow in a straight line but the zone from where the wind is originating polar high it is moving at a minimum rate towards east and that's why the wind shall lag behind here also in southern hemisphere the wind shall lag behind okay concept is somewhat like this focus on this globe dekhna एक बार जरा जूम करते हैं देखो सी नाउ हेयर आई एम शोइंग इक्वेटर ट्राई टू विजुलाइज दिस इज इक्वेटर फॉर यू एंड दीज आर पोल्स टू पोल्स एग्री अर्थ इज रोटेटिंग इन वेस्ट इज डायरेक्शन एंटी क्लॉक वाइज सो द विंड्स विच आर फ्लोइंग फ्रॉम लो टू हाई लेटिट्यूड्स लो टू हाई now low to high means it could be equator or otherwise low to high latitudes the wind shall always move forward and if the winds are flowing from high to low latitudes high to low latitudes the wind shall always lag behind lag behind towards west move forward towards east agree lag behind towards where if they're flowing from high to low latitudes west and move forward always towards where east if they are flowing from low to high latitudes it means if you see when we compare two pressure belts i mean equator at 0 degree and subtropical high pressure belt at 30 degree jo main normal le le raha hu so in between equator and 30 degree subtropical belt which is high latitudes 30 degree and low latitudes 0 degree now between subtropical high pressure belt 30 degree and subpolar low pressure belt at 60 degree 30 degree would be low latitude 60 degree would be high latitudes agree between poles and of course subpolar area pole at 90 degree so 90 degree would be high latitude subpolar area would be low latitudes so if you see when the winds are flowing from high to low latitudes 
I mean from 30 to 0, the wind shall always lag behind. Here also in both the hemisphere, lag behind. Lag behind towards the west. When the winds are flowing, where? From low to high latitudes. Low means 30 to 60. Low to high latitudes, the wind shall always move forward. Again, when the winds are flowing from high to low latitudes, from pole 90 degree to 60 degree, the wind shall always lag behind. Why the winds are lagging behind and moving forward? Because different climatic zones, I mean different pressure belts over the surface of earth with earth are rotating at different linear velocity from equator towards pole. And that's why we are finding some deviation in the path of the wind motion. Now be very sure about my concept. So Nazara, dekho. Ki if I am standing between subtropical high pressure belt and equatorial low pressure belt, okay? my face would always be towards low pressure and then it will appear that the wind deflect to my right hand side. Dekh rao, face hamesha kis ki taraf rakhna hai aapko? Low pressure ki taraf. Dono ki beech mein khade ho jao, high or low pressure ki taraf. Aur face hamesha rakho ki kis ki taraf? Low pressure ki taraf. Then it appears that the wind shall, uh, wind shall lag behind and wind deviate towards my right hand side. Similarly, if I am standing in southern hemisphere between 30 and 0, subtropical high and equator, then it appears that the wind deflects to my left hand side, somewhat like this. Because phase would always remain towards low pressure area. Similarly, if I am standing between high and low pressure area of 30 and 60, 30 and 60 means subtropical high and subpolar low, okay, phase is towards low pressure, okay, then it, will, it appears that the wind deflects to my right hand side. In southern hemisphere, it deflects towards my left hand side, phase always towards low pressure. Again, between poles and subpolar area, 90 degree and 60 degree, the wind shall lag behind and it appears that the wind deflects towards my right hand side. Here also the wind deflects towards my left hand side. And then we can substantiate or conceptualize this notion that in northern hemisphere when the winds are flowing between different range of latitudes, that deflecting towards the right hand side in north and left hand side in south of hemisphere. Sometimes the winds are lagging behind towards west and sometimes the winds are moving forward towards east. It depends from where to where the winds are flowing. If the winds are flowing from high to low, low, low latitudes, the wind shall always lag behind. From low to high latitude, the wind shall always move forward. In this way, the deviation takes place. Agree? Now, listen carefully and try to understand my concept. In this way, the winds are flowing. Now, these winds, what I'm showing by arrows, I hope you're able to see the red arrow, the blue arrows, and so on and so forth. These winds are flowing over the surface of Earth. But if you see the direction of these winds, see, the winds are flowing from subtropical high towards equator in northern hemisphere. Their normal direction is from northeast to southwest. Normal figure drop arrow, this is north, this is south. Here we are showing west, and of course, this one is east. Between north and east, we are finding which direction? Northeast. Between south and east, which direction? Southeast. Between south and west, which direction? Southwest. Between north and west, of course, which direction? Northwest. So if you see, the winds which are flowing <coughs> from subtropical high pressure belt towards equator, equatorial low, their normal direction is from northeast to southwest. From northeast, somewhat like this. If you see, northeast to southwest. And the winds which are flowing in southern hemisphere from subtropical high towards equator, its normal direction is from southeast to northwest, somewhat like this, southeast to northwest. So in northern hemisphere, the winds are flowing from northeast to southwest. In southern hemisphere, from southeast to northwest. Okay? Northeast, southeast, northeast, southeast. I mean the winds are originating from northeast and southeast. In totality, we can say the winds are flowing from east to west. Achha, north east ka matlab kya hoga? East to hoga North east and south east means they are flowing from east to west. From subtropical high towards equatorial low. And then these winds are called as easterlies. Easterlies. I hope you remember the previous principle what I taught you. The direction from where the wind is originating the same name or nomenclature is given to the wind. The winds are called as what? Easterlies. Okay. Similarly, the winds which are flowing from focus subtropical high pressure belt towards subpolar low pressure belt in both the hemisphere. If you see their normal direction is from southwest, southwest, 
somewhat like this southwest to northeast and in southern hemisphere from northwest to southeast i hope you are able to see northwest to southeast and southwest to northeast so southwest to northeast in northern and northwest to southeast in southern southwest northwest originating from southwest northwest southwest northwest in totality from where to where from west to east and then these winds which are flowing from west to east from subtropical high towards subpolar low are regarded as westerlies westerlies in both the hemisphere because the winds are flowing from west to east at last the winds which are flowing from polar high pressure belt and approaching towards subpolar low pressure belt okay these winds from polar high to subpolar low pressure belt are again acquiring the same direction followed by easterlies if you see the same direction and now these winds are called as polar winds why polar because the winds are flowing from poles towards a polar area they are also called as polar easterlies polar easterlies why polar easterlies because again their directions from east to west just like normal easterlies now these normal easterlies are also known as trade winds acha trade isliye bolte hain kyunki pehle inke through trade hota tha when we are not having motorized ships so different type of trades would take place of course with easterlies so the winds are called as trade winds one more time in northern hemisphere we are finding a trade wind if you see this trade wind which is moving from north east to south west is called as north east trade wind ab main ye hata raha hu samajh jana the winds which are flowing from north east to south west in northern hemisphere is called as north east trade wind pehle inke through trade hota tha and the winds which are flowing in southern hemisphere from south east to north west if you see south east to north west the winds are called as south east trade wind so there are two trade winds over the surface of earth which are flowing from subtropical high to equatorial low and these winds are called as simply called as easterlies or trade winds and again there are two trade winds one is northeast trade other one south east trade winds if you see all these winds i mean the easterlies westerlies polar winds or polar easterlies they are flowing over the whole globe over the whole planet between some defined pressure belts so these winds are permanent they are persistent they are perennial flowing throughout the year and they are planetary planetary means flowing over the whole planet and subsequently the winds which are flowing over the whole planet throughout the year in a particular direction on perennial basis the winds are called as primary atmospheric circulation so all these three winds the easterlies westerlies and polar winds are coming under the ambit of which circulation primary atmospheric circulation 